But first, an exclusive that is new tonight. One man is seriously hurt. Another is facing charges after what police are calling an early morning hit and run in West Warwick. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Galunian joining us now live from the West Warwick Police Department with the details and the video you'll see only on Eyewitness News tonight. Kim? Well, Jared, that's right. Police say that man failed to stop his car after striking a pedestrian near the corner of Pulaski and Manchester Streets in West Warwick around 4.30 this morning. Now, take a look. This is video from the scene early this morning provided to us by Bill Hume. He says he was one of the first people on the scene this morning. He was out running errands when he just happened to stumble upon this crash near his home. Now, police say the victim, a man in his 40s, was seriously hurt, and Hume says he found that man bloodied lying in the street after witnesses say he stepped off the curb and was struck by a car that just kept going. Police say they found that car with damage to the passenger side and a broken windshield a short distance away, and they took the driver into custody. Now, the victim was taken to the hospital with serious injuries, but his condition at this time is unknown. Hume says he tried to help keep that victim calm while they waited for help, which he says came in just minutes. He also tells us Pulaski Street is notorious for speeding. I was just trying to help the to keep the people calm. You know, his friends were panicking and stuff too, which is understandable. You know, it was a it was it was pretty gruesome from what you know from just what happened. So that's all I tried to do was just keep everybody calm and, and wait for the cops to get there so they can handle what they have to do. Like people speed up and down the road all the time, you know, and the the police sit out there and do the best they can to to monitor traffic, you know. But I mean, they can't be there 24/7 to make sure people don't speed down the road. So I mean, they they do the best they can to to minimize it, but still, people still speed up and down the road all the time. And police are not yet releasing the name of the suspect, though they do tell us he is a man from West Warwick in his 20s. He's now facing multiple traffic citations, as well as a felony charge of duty to stop in an accident resulting in personal injury or death. Police say it's still unclear if alcohol played a role in this crash. They say that suspect is expected to be arraigned in court later this month. Reporting live in West Warwick, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.